Hey everybody, I just wanted to provide one last update before I leave Australia and head back to the States. So by the time I upload this video, I will be on my long 23 hour journey back across the ocean to the States. But before I go, I wanted to provide an update and kind of a fun video on the things that I've found that are different in Australia that we don't have or are different in the States. So the very first one that I realized was on the first day I got here, I went to the grocery store to get some snacks to keep around my apartment. I went and I picked up a can of Pringles and immediately realized that Australian Pringles are a lot smaller than American Pringles. You might not be able to tell so much in this video here, but it's such a size difference in fact that the Australian Pringles can actually fits inside of an American Pringles can. The chips are different sized and they taste a little different too. So Australian Pringles are different. What I also thought was interesting is they don't have Lay's chips here. They have Smith's chips, which if this package looks a lot like a Lay's package, it's because they're owned by Lay's but they're branded differently for Australia. One of the other things that I noticed while I was at the store was that Rice Krispies here are called Rice Bubbles. And they have a whole bunch of different names for what we would have as American cereals. They have completely different names for here. So another thing most people probably don't think about is that the Australian electrical outlets are a different plug style than we have back in the States. They're also a different voltage. So when I came here, I had to get an adapter and a like converter so that way my electronics would still work here. Something I noticed the first day that I was in the office is that their office paper or their just normal paper size here is a little different. Another thing that they do differently here that most people probably do know is that they drive on the wrong side of the road. Um, they drive on the left, they drive on the right side of the car. It made driving really interesting when my dad was here and we rented a car to drive down to the Great Ocean Road and the Twelve Apostles, which is a really nice drive if you're ever in Australia. <laughs> the other thing is here that a lot of people use the public transit system. So coming from a place where everybody drives, I drive, I like to drive everywhere. It's been really weird having to take a tram every day to and from work and if you want to go into town, you take the tram into town. That's been really odd to me, but it's been kind of nice, but there's some things I don't like about it, like you're waiting on someone else always to get somewhere. One of the last things that I realized was through talking to students who are at university or college here, and that's the college experience. So back in the States, the college experience is so much more about moving away from your parents, you know, going to sporting events, getting involved with, you know, either Greek life or some sort of activity on campus. And it's really about going out and doing your own thing. Well, in Australia, they don't necessarily do that because living is so expensive here. Most people live at home throughout their entire college career. They don't have a lot of college sports like we do in the States. And they don't really have all the activities that we would associate with your college experience. Well, I hope this information has been fun, and if you ever choose to go to Australia, I would highly recommend it. If there's any more questions, just talk to me. I would love to share my experience with anybody who asks, and I'm sure I'll provide one more update video after I've kind of gotten back and had time to digest everything. But thanks for keeping up with me, and I will see you all when I get home.